you're going to be able to keep your teeth a lot cleaner for a lot longer period of time. And you're just going to save yourself time, money, and frustration. What's this? Two boxes of set three in every one of these videos. Um, I'm opening two boxes per video because English boxes have like double the amount of hits. So I'm just gonna get right into it and continue this video. Oh yeah, if you don't subscribe, that would be really cool. You know, hitting that like also helps me out. But anyway, I've been doing a series, it's a three part series, opening set three cards, talking about dentistry because I am a dentist and I wanted to share some of my perspective on dentistry and things that happen in dentistry and how, you know, you can, uh, you can, bless in the pack, uh, get ahead in your dental journey. So um, I was talking about, in the last video, I kind of ended with talking about uh, the a routine, a good routine. And I was talking about brushing before or after breakfast and really the, the, the TLDR of that, uh, here's our Sanji Don, is that if brush when you remember. If you're more likely to brush before breakfast, brush before breakfast. If you're more likely to brush after breakfast, brush after breakfast. I always remember that I'm gonna brush before breakfast, so I do it before breakfast. Very first thing that I do is brush my teeth. I recommend a Philips Sonicare Protective Clean 7100. I sell them in my office. If you're in the area and you ever wanna come by and get one, you can get one. I just saw it at Best Buy. They sell them for like 120 bucks at Best Buy, but it is a fantastic investment you can make for yourself and a fantastic investment you can make for your dental routine. And it'll just augment your hygiene so significantly. I mean, honestly, if you were to brush with this thing for 30 seconds versus brushing with a manual brush, you're doing like 10 times the amount of work. So it's just a much, much better brush. It's a very powerful motor. Philips is the brand that I recommend. And you want to be brushing twice a day. So in the morning and at night. And the reason why it's important to brush at night is because all the food that sticks to your teeth over the course of the day is going to be there at night. And that's when the bacteria really like to party. When you're napping and sleeping and getting your reset, you know, back to normal, all those bacteria are going wild in your mouth. They are raving and they're producing acid when they eat all that uh, food on your teeth and the acid that they produce breaks down the tooth structure. So in terms of tooth anatomy, there's an important things to understand about your teeth so that you can best take care of them. You have the enamel, which is a crystalline structure on the outside of your teeth. Yes, it's actually crystal called hydroxyapatite, and that's what protects the internal parts of your teeth. It's like a helmet for your teeth. And then the dentin is inside of that, and the dentin is more porous and more prone to getting decay if bacteria make their way into there. And then inside of that is the nerve. And once the nerve gets bacteria, your tooth's kind of shot. You gotta take the nerve out and fill it with some material. That's what a root canal is for. And you really wanna try and avoid that because then the tooth's not vital anymore. I mean, it's better than pulling the tooth because you still have a tooth there, which you know eventually probably you wanna replace with an implant or some sort of prosthesis. But um, yeah, you wanna avoid that happening. So brushing everything off your teeth, keeping your enamel healthy and clean is the best way to avoid getting cavities in it. There's also, when you know, when you look in your mouth, you see gums outside of your mouth, right? The gums are what, are what hold around the bone and hold above the teeth. But there's a little tissue connection above the bone where the gum tissue touches the tooth, and that's called the junctional epithelium. The junctional epithelium is just basically the tissue that's at the junction of the outside and inside of the mouth, right? Because you don't want bacteria getting to the bone level, because again, the bone is really porous, and if bacteria get to the bone, they can reduce the bone height, and then you lose the support for your teeth, and that's when katakuri, your teeth fall out of your mouth. And you don't want that to happen. You wanna keep your teeth in your mouth. That's the goal, that's the big goal, that's the big win. If you can keep your teeth in your mouth, it's a success. So the way to do that is to keep them clean. And the way to keep them clean is by brushing and flossing. And when you floss, you don't just wanna get down into the tooth and like snap it in and out. You wanna get down into that space and work the floss up against the tooth and kind of scoop stuff out of that space that has that junctional epithelium. Because if you can scoop stuff out of that space, that's gonna reduce the amount of food particles that are gonna attract bacteria and it's gonna just overall protect, protect your periodontium more so. This is the last box. This is the last One Piece set three box. I'm excited. I've got some really good hits in these cases. Bless them. Um, but yeah, so I recommend a uh, flosser called the 
uh, Listerine Ultra Clean. I think it's actually getting bought from a different company right now. I don't know, but it, you can look up Listerine Ultra Clean on Amazon and get it. It comes with these little replaceable heads. And the reason why I really like that flosser is because it's really easy to take your time with it. You can spend a heck ton of time flossing and really work the spaces between your teeth to make sure you're getting all that stuff out from between there to keep them as clean as possible. Okay, so I think I think pudding, I have not pulled a pudding alt art. I think that's my, I'd like to pull a pudding or Big Mom. I haven't seen Big Mom either yet. So I think I've pulled a lot of the other alt arts. Pudding or Big Mom would be the big hits. I haven't pulled Usopp either, but pudding and Big Mom are my, my uh, wishes for what I could pull. Um, yeah, so flossing, brushing, and then I recommend this thing called a shower flosser, which is basically just like a tube that hooks into your shower and you can like use it like a water pick and it just blasts water out from between your teeth. So um, yeah, that's, that's I think the best routine. If you can implement that routine, you're gonna be able to keep your teeth a lot cleaner for a lot longer period of time and you're just gonna save yourself time, money, and frustration. What's this? Oh, Katakuri. I thought I already got all the alt art leaders from this case. I guess not. Dang, that was the one other one that I would have wanted to pull. That's insane. That's wild. What the heck? I got Nami and Katakuri in one box. Oh yeah, because I think I got um I think I got Iceberg in my last case. I got Iceberg and Ace. But Nami and Katakuri, those are the only other two alt arts that I really wanted. So that's that's pretty hype. I want to see Arlong also, but I think Arlong's pretty cheap, so dang. That's wild. That's totally wild. I can't believe I just pulled that. Maybe there's going to be a pudding in this box also. Alt art pudding. How hype would that be? Um, yeah, and also going to get your teeth cleaned professionally. You really should do it twice a year. Some people require more than twice a year. But the real trick to all this stuff is like you have to figure out the routine that works for you. Some people just aren't going to floss. I have patients that I've tried. I've tried telling them zillions and zillions of times, but they're just not gonna do it, you know? And for them, if I can get them to install a hose in their shower that washes between their teeth, they're kind of more likely to do that. And a lot of them do. And then that gets them the cleaning between their teeth that, you know, it's not as good as flossing, but it's better than nothing. And that's a huge trick is like, you know, your dentist may tell you to do something and be like, hey, this is what you should do. But you gotta figure out what's manageable for you because the thing that you do, you have to do it every single day. This isn't like, oh, I pick three or four days a week and I do this to my teeth. No, this is like, you gotta be committed to cleaning your teeth this way every single day. So figuring out the routine that's manageable for you, as long as you're doing more than nothing and you're putting in some work, it's better than not doing anything. And over time, you know, the effect of that will really compound and you'll be able to keep a much happier and healthier oral environment, which is the big goal. You know, that's what you want. You want to maintain a happy, healthy oral environment so you can keep using your teeth to communicate all your feelings, emotions and ideas with the world and breathe because breathing is really important. It's actually one of the most quickest ways to die is to not breathe. So remember to keep breathing. It's, it's a really good thing to do. Um, and dang, I think we're getting pretty close. This alt art should be like in one of, oh, no, that's Cracker. Cracker, there's three more packs. Three more packs of set three. This is, we're not gonna be opening any more set three until the summer, until it's out in English. So come on, pudding, come on. Pudding Chuan, Dokoda Pudding Chuan. This is the Sanji, so it's in the Blossom. It's in the blossom, unless there isn't an alt art and there's just an alt leader, but I think there's an alt art in the alt art leader boxes also. Pudding, Dokuda. Dokuda Pudding Chuan. Is it? That's fine. I'm cool with that. I'm very cool with that. I am actually very excited about that. Yeah, Pudding can wait. This is good. This is really good. Wow. I did pull one of these in the last case, but I'm happy to have as many of these as are as possible is cool with me this is a great fire greatly fire pull what a box what an insane box to end it on anyway that's been my dental journey uh talking about you know things that could help with dentistry i hope you guys enjoyed this series thanks for tuning in um i will be opening a lot of set two in english so make sure to catch that sang kyu gozaimasu and i'll see you guys next time Well, you guys, Dr. Yes. Jonik here, uh, recommending the water pick after our excessively educational opportunity with free sandwiches. 
And now you can wash those free sandwiches out of your teeth easily with a water pick solution found on your tabletop at your local Walmart and Target.